Hi everyone, I'm happy to have you all here. Uh, I really appreciate the support I've been getting the past week or so on my channel. Thank you guys so much for that. I'm going to get right into the reading. So for those of you that are new, please keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will be for you. They will be your energy group, your storyline, and others won't be. So never try to force it to fit. If it's your reading, it will resonate and make sense to you. All right, let's get into it. What's the story? What does someone need to know? Two of Wands. Okay, someone's waiting for something. This is interesting. Hold on, give me a second. I want to make sure. Wait. Why the Three of Swords? Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. It's like someone's waiting for you. I, I almost get this energy of like someone watching you or someone spying on you. It's like somebody's... I feel like this man is waiting for this woman who's a high priestess and the Queen of Cups. So she's empathetic. She's mature. She's wise. She's grounded. She's very spiritual. She's a very high ranking in the the spiritual realm um and i feel like this is a woman who's more in touch with her emotions but it's like you have like like she, i feel like she's very balanced you know even if this woman's an intense woman i feel like she still has a very good balance like she even if she's very emotional she knows how to ground her emotions um I also feel like the high priestess is trying to tell me that this man is aware of you because the high priestess is someone who they know about something or they know about someone, but they keep it to themselves. It's like they're aware of this. So I, I almost feel like this could be a new love that maybe you haven't even met yet or a secret admirer type, or it could even be someone that you're like friends with on social media that's looking at all your social media posts and they know who you are to them intuitively. Like, I feel like someone has like a, like soul recognition here, like past life recognition. I almost feel like this is going to come as a shock to you. Like this person is, this new person is going to come as a shock to you because I think you're used to being in the other role where it's like, you're aware of the past life connection first because you're so spiritual you're very intuitive. You're usually the one that's aware of the past life connection. You have the soul recognition first and that person usually eventually catches up to you. This time it's the other way around where I feel like this man, tell me about this man, tell me about his personality, but I feel like this man is aware of you like intuitively. So I feel like either he sees you, like he's watching you somehow. Like, I don't know if he's watching you on camera I don't know if he's watching you like on social media. I just get this energy of someone watching you behind the scenes. Like somebody is watching you behind the scenes. Like you could even have some kind of platform and it's like they're watching, you know, your content or they're watching, they're looking at your posts. They're, they're look, they're really reading into you. Like they know they, they are getting a really good understanding of who you are as a person somehow. For some, this could be spiritual. Like you could be a witch and you could be manifesting another witch or you could be a psychic and you're manifesting another psychic. Like you're manifesting someone that's of the same spiritual ranking as you or very close to it at least. This man could even be of higher spiritual ranking than you possibly. Um, we're gonna. There's something holding him back though. There's something that's like making him not want to come forward yet and we're going to get into that in just a minute. So for some, if he's not physically aware of you, I feel like it's like you guys are just in each other's energy fields. Um, like in the higher realms, he's aware of you. It's like there's this telepathic communication. Like he's um, like he's doing like love drawing rituals right now or he's going out. Maybe he's like joining dating apps or he's putting that intention in that he wants to meet someone new and he knows what kind of woman he's looking for. And that's you. And he's channeling you. He's feeling your energy. Tell me more about this two of wands, man. Four of swords. I feel like this man is very balanced. He's very grounded. Um, 
he's very wise and mature, I feel. Like he has a very stable, peaceful energy with the Four of Swords and the Temperance card. <clears throat> yeah, Four of Wands too is, is about like home, peace, stability. I feel like he meditates because Four of Swords could be someone that meditates. So I feel like for, not for all of you. For some, it's like he might not actually sit there and meditate. But for a lot of you, I feel like he does. I feel like this is man, a man that has like a spiritual practice or he has like an exercise routine. Um, or he practices like mindfulness. It's like there's something that he does where where he incorporates spirituality into his business, into his daily life. Tell me, we're going to look into him a little bit more and then we're going to see what's holding him up. Hold on. He has an innocence about him. Um, but I feel like that has, how do I explain this? It's like this man has a very pure heart. He's got a really good soul. Um, I feel like he actually does have a lot of good karma. Like, I feel like he's a, just a really good person all around. Um, I feel like he almost has this innocence about him. Like, he tries to see the best in everybody. He could even be somebody that's financially well off, and maybe he's been used by people in the past. Like, maybe he's had people that... Um, I feel like he's empathetic, so I almost feel... This is, like, a real... This is a really good man. I almost feel like maybe because I get like a weird energy from this child in this context, this energy, you know, keep in mind, guys, I do channel. So I always read the cards differently. You know what I mean? Like they, they have their general meanings, but I might get different meanings on different days, depending on the spread and, and what I'm feeling off the energy. Like what I'm channeling is I don't get a great energy from this child. Um, to me, it feels like childish people in his life that have taken advantage of him. So like if he has money, they go to him with a sob story and they ask him for, for money all the time. Um, they take advantage of his generosity, of his kind heart. So he's had a lot of sneaky kind of people in his life take him for granted and use him for his position, for his money, for whatever else. So he's had to walk away. This could even be recent where he's had to really walk away from people. And I feel like he's kind of lonely where it's like he's trying to focus on, you know, business, on finances. He could be in a, in a very powerful position uh, in the material world as well. So I feel like he's... He's just tired of getting it wrong with people. You know, but he does want love. Like, his heart is still open, but he's more cautious than he's been in the past. Three of Cups, Five of Pentacles... Yeah, I feel like he had to leave a lot of people behind. I'm going to put these back in so I can reshuffle a little bit. And then we're going to look into what the holdup is here. It's like he's watching you somehow, whether it's telepathically or whether it's on camera, whether it's on social media. He's watching you in a way, but he's he's the high priest. You're both the high priestess. But he's the high priestess in the sense that he's, like, hidden. Like, he's not in, like, a creepy stalker way. Like, I'm not getting a negative vibe from him. But it's, like, if you have it, like if you have a profile up somewhere, like, let's say you have, like, a Bumble profile or, like, a Tinder or you have, like, Twitter or whatever else or Facebook or it could be a number of things. I, I just feel like for some it's, like, a platform where it's, like, he, like, sees your post, he sees your pictures. He's, like, I know that woman. Like, I know her intuitively. Like, this is what I've been looking for. There could be certain things about you, like, characteristics where he's, like, seeing. He's, like, this is what I've been looking for. Like, this is the kind of woman that I want. Like, and he might, for, for a lot of you, I almost feel like he does have, like, that past life soul recognition. I really do feel like this man is intuitive. Actually, sorry, bear with me, guys. I'm going to get into his intuition really quick. I'm going to ask about that, and then we're going to get into this part right here. Like, what? there's something holding him up. There, There's something holding him up. And it doesn't I, – I don't get the sense that he's emotionally unavailable. Like, I'm not getting a bad energy from him. I almost feel like it's something 
Maybe he thinks you're emotionally unavailable. Let's let him just give me give me a sec, guys. What, tell me about this man's intuition. Tell me about this man's like into like intuition. Tell me about his intuition. He wants to build with you, but it's like he's holding back. I almost feel like he's afraid of like because he wants you so badly he's afraid of like being rejected by you um I feel like it's really interesting because I said tell me about his intuition and I almost feel like how do I explain this energy um I feel like his intuition is being a little bit blocked by fear because I do feel like this man is intuitive. Um, I, I almost feel like it's going to be different for everyone. I think that's why my spirit guides aren't showing me like, oh, yes, he's like the magician or he's this or that. I think because it's, he's on different levels um, for like for each person watching this video, I feel like this man is on different levels. But I feel like on a soul level. This man is a very old soul and I feel like he has like, like in his past lives, he might've been like a shaman or he, he like maybe, you know, like, like a medicine man or it's, it's like he, um, it was of like very high ranking in the spiritual community. Like he's like a spiritual leader. So I feel like on a soul level, this man is very, very psychic, but I, I feel like where they're at in their psychic path in that psychic awakening process is going to be different. So for some of these men, they channel and they tune into the energy, but they don't, they don't realize that they're channeling. You know what I mean? Like they might have like a psychic dream about you. Like you guys might be having the same dreams about each other and they wake up and they're like, that's probably loneliness. That's probably just you know, like my ideal woman, that's something I'm fantasizing about. Like they're channeling you, they're telepathically communicating with you. I even feel like in their business, I feel like they get psychic downloads. Like they have, it's like they have these intuitive hunches. And, and, and like I said, for some, they're, they're just unaware of it. They're like, oh, they, they might study psychology. So they're like, oh, I'm good at reading body language. Or like they don't, they might not know what it is. For others, they actually do know what it is. For others, they actually do um, have like a whole meditative, like spiritual practice. Some are even further along where they're like a straight up like witch or they're uh, like they're maybe they're even doing tarot readings themselves. Like maybe you guys both do tarot readings or whatever, something like that. Like you guys are both very psychic. For some of you, I feel like you're going to be helping this person explore their psychic abilities more. Like you're going to, you guys are going to have long talks about that and you're going to be like, oh, that's, that's your psychic ability. Like they're going to, they're going to tell you about things that they thought were just, you know, just psychology or just random dreams. And there's going to be synchronicities between the two of you where you're going to be like, no, that's, that's, you know, that was me. That was, you were channeling me or the, the, that's a site. Like you're going to teach them how to be psychic, I guess. Anyway, let's get into this part. What is, what's holding them back? I feel like for one thing, I, I just feel like they want to do it right. Like they're, they're very aware of you. They're, they've been studying you. And so I almost just feel like they want to make sure that they get it right. They almost feel like this could be like a perfectionist type where they know if they come off the wrong way, you might reject them. I really feel like, I don't know. I, I feel like they're misreading you because I feel like you are aware of them too, even if it's only psychically. And I feel like you want to meet them too. Like, I feel like you're ready for them. I feel like you're ready for this man. Like you want to meet this man. You've been trying to manifest this man. Like you're open to this. Like you're open to this new love. Um, if this reading is resonating with you, I really appreciate you guys. If you don't mind like liking the video, uh, leaving a heart comment, even, you know, sharing, subscribing if it resonates, because I will be doing more of this storyline in the future as well. 
Um, I really appreciate it because you guys, this is a very big energy group. Like all of these energy groups are pretty large energy groups and I, I can't really get the messages out there without you guys. Like I need that help getting back into the YouTube algorithm, getting YouTube to promote my videos again. Um, they changed things around the last year, so it's a lot harder for, for tarot readers to get their messages out there. So I really appreciate the comments and likes and all the support. And I love hearing from you guys too. It's really what's been motivating me to keep doing these readings on a daily basis because I got off the channel for a while and it's like now that you guys are really engaging, it's like motivating me to, to go back to doing daily readings for you guys. So thank you for the support. Um, okay, no further delays. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> What's that? Page of Cups. Okay. What is the holdup? So this man is aware of you telepathically, possibly physically, or they're watching you on some platform. Maybe all of the above. What is the holdup? What is stopping this man from... What? Why is, why is he not just coming in? Two of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, he's a perfectionist. It's it's like that's one of the reasons. He's a perfectionist. He Well done. Some of them think that you have a boyfriend or that you're like heartbroken over someone. Hmm. Because it's like there's a king of wands type. Could be like a man that's very charming, fun, life of the party, charismatic, that they're waiting for you to walk away from before they manifest this. And you could have, they could be right, that you might have very real, very deep feelings for this King of Wands. But I honestly, I don't feel like this King, let me, is the King, I don't feel like this King of Wands is doing anything. That's the problem, is I think that you've, for some of you, I do feel like you've been holding out hope for this King of Wands type. You're like, you might have even felt like this King of Wands, um, like, how do I explain this energy? Like you saw a lot of potential with this King of Wands, whether it's someone in your present or someone from your past. I really do feel like you did feel a lot of potential with this King of Wands to be a power couple, to um, maybe even go into business together, to have true love. Like you felt all of that. But I just feel like this King of Wands is like not taking action towards you. And so I feel like it's like you went from being sad or being heartbroken or being upset or really trying to get this person's attention to like kind of it's like I don't know if seeing them differently is the right term, but you're like, OK, well, I thought we could be a power couple, but like obviously we can't be if this person isn't willing to step up and pursue me, you know, or I thought we could go into business together, but obviously we can't if this man is going into business with other people and, and neglecting me. Um, or I thought this could be a really close friend or a really deep romantic relationship, but obviously if this person is not talking to me or not, or not supporting me, obviously like maybe I was wrong. It's like you're, you're kind of on the fence with how you feel about this King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands really quick and then we're going to go back into the new person. Just bear with me. Yeah, it's like you were holding on and like wanting this Ten of Cups with this person, but now you have like this new perspective on it. Now you have this new perspective and then we have the Sun and the Eight of Wands that were... And there could even be potential with this King of Wands, which is more reason for this this other new man to hurry up and get his shit together and come forward. <laughs> um, if anything, I feel like this King of Wands might start competing for you when he sees, like, after this man comes forward. I don't know. <clears throat> but, um, but, yeah, I just get the sense you have, like, a new perspective on that King of Wands where you're, like, you really had very real feelings for them. And you might still have very real feelings for them, but I feel like you're... Um, 
you know, maybe afraid to feel those feelings for them or you're you're trying to put those feelings aside because you feel like this person doesn't love you back. You feel like they don't support you. You feel like, you know, like there's a lot of potential there to be a power couple, to have true love, to, you know, just be one of those badass couples that just, you know, calls each other out and just has like that best friend kind of fun, silly relationship and the deep romantic talks and, and traveling together and having all of it. Like you can see that with this, this King of Wands, but you're, you either feel like they can't see it with you. Like you feel like this King of Wands just doesn't have any feelings for you. Or you feel like if they do have feelings that they're not willing to pursue you for whatever reason. So I, I feel like you're kind of starting to just feel like discouraged disheartened and and kind of you know moving away from it and just being like okay like obviously this person doesn't want me what else can i do you know you're not gonna you're you're very powerful you're not gonna force someone to love you back but um anyway i feel like this new love sees they, they either see they either feel and you might not even have a boyfriend but they feel like you have a boyfriend or they feel like there's someone that you have your eye on or they feel like there's someone from your past that you're heartbroken over. Like maybe you're posting certain things and they're like, oh, this person is like not over their ex or. Tell me more about that. Okay, so we have the first reason why they're holding, why this new man is holding back is it is the um, the perfectionist energy where they, they feel like they've got one shot. I'm hearing that song, that Eminem song. What is that? That in the moment or lose yourself to the moment or whatever it is I haven't heard that song in so long so I forget the name of it but I think I think it's lose yourself um anyway for whatever reason it's like they feel like they have one shot and I feel like they're it's almost like they want to um present themselves in a really good light to you they don't want to get rejected why do they okay so I'm gonna go more into you know, what's going on, like why they think you're taken or why they think that you might not be open to them. But I want to go more into why do they, why are they such a perfectionist? Like, why do they feel like they only have one shot with you? They might just see you as someone who's very beautiful, very charismatic. And they're probably in this mentality of like, you know, uh, she probably gets hit on by, you know, a dozen different men a day. Like, what's going to set me apart from them? What's going to, what's, you guys ever see the movie Hitch? Like, you remember the the beginning where Will Smith is talk is like coaching these men. It's almost like that kind of energy where he's like telling them, like, you got one date, you got one shot to be like some guy that she had something with once or to be like happily ever after with her. So I almost feel like this movie has probably seen the movie Hitch and he probably took it to heart, honestly. <laughs> Because it's like, I, I feel like he kind of almost lives by that. Like he holds himself to a very, like he's got integrity. He's honest. He's loyal. He holds himself to a very high standard. And he sees you as very physically attractive, very beautiful, very um, youthful. Even if you're older, I feel like he still feels like a youthful, vibrant energy off you. I think this man just needs to come in though. He just needs to stop procrastinating and just come in. Like he just needs to, whether it's commenting on one of your posts or, or if he's watching you, just come in and say hi. Maybe he knows where you work, where you work, or maybe he's like that customer, like at the coffee shop that comes in, but he doesn't really engage in conversation, but you guys make eyes and you, you're both attracted to each other, but he never talks. It could be a situation like that. Like there's multiple scenarios here. So take it as it resonates with your specific storyline if you are in this energy group. But, um, but yeah, it's like he feels like you probably get hit on by so many people that he's like, well, what would set me apart? Like what's... And if you're like on social media, like maybe you're like a model or an influencer or you're on TikTok and you've got like all these people commenting, like all these guys commenting or liking your pictures, he's like, what is going to set me apart and make me not just look like another one of those guys that's just trying to sleep with her? You know what I mean? Like what's going to really set, set me apart? Like he's really, um, I feel like he knows a lot about psychology, so he's really afraid of like he's really worried about like your perspective of him, of, of making sure that you see him ha as he is and not 
making assumptions like and you could be a very strong woman woman as well so maybe you're the kind of woman like maybe you gotta like fend these men off like maybe you gotta be like no like f off like I'm not you know what I mean and so he doesn't want to be seen as one of those douchebags that's just trying to get some you know what I mean um I think that's why it's like he's like in, in tell me is there anything else about like the perfectionist thing I think he just sees you so highly so early on that he's like damn I think it's kind of like what I was saying about like the hitch thing where it's like this could be happily ever after ten of cups or this could be Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles, like conflict or being left out in the cold. Um, or this could be, you know, to you, just some guy you had one date with and it didn't go well. Like he's really worried about it because um, he wants to present a really stable offer. He's worried. I, I feel like he sees you as a strong woman, too. I almost feel like he's afraid of conflict with you. He's afraid that you're like like a queen of swords type where you might just be like, dude, I've been hit on by so many guys, guys today. Like, just, just go, just get out of here. Like, um, but yeah, I feel like he's misunderstanding your energy. Like, I feel like you're waiting for him too. I feel like you're psychic as well. <coughs> Sorry. I feel like you're aware of him as well. Like whether it's maybe you guys have just made eyes and you've never really talked much, but you just have this kind of intuitive nudge towards him. Um, for some, they need that opening. And it could even be a situation where like maybe you seem closed off because maybe he sees you at work or something like that. So you're like a like a um like working at a cafe or you're doing, you know what I mean? Like you're you're in some kind of like customer service position. Where it's like when he comes in, I'm hearing like dog groomer or something too for someone or like I'm seeing like retail. There's like different storylines here, but it's like like he comes in maybe regularly or something, but it's like he comes in to see you, but like he pretends like he's there to buy something or or, you know, maybe like if you're like at a coffee shop, there's one really close to his house, but he drives all the way to to your coffee shop so that you know, he gets a chance to just like see you and see how you're doing. But it, it's like, you might be in this energy of like, like work mode. Like I'm just here to work. Like, like you're not thinking about love when you're in this environment and he might take that the wrong way for some, that's not for everyone. But <clears throat> like I said, where this man knows you from, it's different for everyone. For some, he doesn't, for some it's telepathic for some, you guys are, and this could be like, like it's going to, this could be what you're coming into where it's like he comes in and you guys like make eyes, but you don't talk. Like maybe you're not even at that stage yet where you're still at the stage where you're both channeling each other, dreaming about each other. You know, someone new is coming into your life. They know someone's someone new is coming into their life. Um, I would look into like whatever individual blocks you have that could be blocking this as well. For some of you, like you might want to do like uncrossing and protection. If you're, if you're a witch, um, or, you know, it's just doing rituals even, you know, everyone has their own way to, to do that. Some of you guys just pray, just go about it however you want. But I, I feel like maybe like clearing and protecting yourself and um, like road opening rituals, like like love drawing, that kind of thing. Like letting the universe, like a vision board, whatever it is, just like letting the universe know like, hey, I'm ready for this love. Bring this in, like opening your heart up to this, like and if this is your storyline and you'll know if this is for you because you will have been feeling this man. It's not like you're just lonely and wanting someone like you've actually like had dreams about him or you felt his energy or you can just like you, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, I feel intuitively, um, but yeah, I feel like for some, it's like manifestation work might be needed to, to move things along. I feel like he needs an opening. And that again, that could be like a road opening ritual. Um, could be like, a, I would do almost like, like if you're going to work, I would, I would wear, um, I know pheromones are kind of tricky because it's like, if the pheromones don't agree with your body type, I think it can make you like actually smell bad or something like that I've heard. So, but if you know, like the right pheromones for you or like a certain perfume or like if you have like a love drawing oil or something like that, like wear that stuff, like wear that stuff when you go out. Um, 
don't like obsess over where you're going to find him or where you're going to meet him. Just kind of be like in that energy of just being open. Like just, it's like, you're going to be at a certain vibration. Like, I don't think you're going to expect it when you meet him. Like when you're looking for him, when you're out and you're like, is that him? Is that him? Is that him? Is that him? It, it's never going to be him. Like you're not going to find him. But like when you're just in the energy of like, you're just at work or you're having fun, you're just out somewhere. It's just like that. Like, it's going to be like a, like a sudden overnight thing. You're going to be like, Oh shit. Um, please come back when you do too. I'm so curious. Like, I'm curious to hear how this like plays out for you guys. Come back and comment. Uh, what is, what is it with him thinking? Like, what does he just think you're with another guy? Like, what else is the holdup on his end? Five of Swords, the Justice, the Six of Cups. I almost feel like he sees you as innocent and he wants to protect you from something. So you could just have like, maybe like when he comes into work, like, or like maybe like if he comes into your shop or wherever you are, or if he sees your post or whatever, like maybe he knows when you're having a bad day or maybe you post something to show him that and he's like, he like wants to protect you in some way. Let me see. Hmm. Sweet. I feel like he's really like a funny. <laughs> he's really, I shouldn't laugh, but like he really just sees you as a queen of swords. Like he sees you as like very like pure. Okay, so like it's 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 uh, he sees you as pure and innocent, but he also sees you as the queen of swords, which I know sounds strange. Like he's not sure. Like I almost feel like there's something he wants to protect you from or he wants to support you in some way or it's like he notices when you're having a bad day or you're struggling. Um, he could even be making assumptions about you struggling. Like maybe he's like, maybe he's like a rich guy and you work at like this retail store and he's like, oh my God, like, I hope she has enough money to pay her bills. Like I wonder, but he doesn't want to pry, you know, it could be something like that. I shouldn't laugh at him. I feel bad, but it's like, it's a very sweet, innocent energy I get from this man. Um, you know, if you guys are in this energy group, it's like, it's like, I feel like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh at him. It's just very, like, sweet. But it's, it's, like, with the Page of Pentacles, it's like, he sees you as, like, maybe you need help, or he wants to support you. Like, he's very empathetic. Like, he wants to maybe offer you something. Like, if you're, like, if you're working, like, a minimum wage job, he wants to be like, hey, come, you can come work for my company. Um, for some, not for all. But with the tower moment, I'm like, I'm getting that he's worried you're going to be a bitch to him. <laughs> That's why I was laughing so hard. I'm like, with the tower, he's like worried that he's going to look like this little child, this little, this little, like, like one of your groupies or one of your fans. You could be in the public eye and he's like, God, I don't want to be just another, another one of her fans. And he's like worried that it's going to be like a tower moment where you're going to be like, oh, hell no, I don't want to come work for you. Or hell no, I don't want to go on a date with you. Or like, who the fuck are you? Or like, he's worried that he's going to pry too much and you're going to tell him to mind his business. Like for some, like he sees that you're like, he feels like you're, like, depressed or you're stressed out, and he wants to be like, hey, like, are you doing okay? Like, what's going on? And he's worried that you're just going to tell him to fuck off, that you're just going to be like, dude, I don't know you. It's none of your damn business. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I find that so funny. Uh, like, I can't stop laughing about it. I don't fucking know why. Uh or it's like maybe you even told him like a little bit like maybe you're like oh I'm going to school and I'm like just here to pay the bills or something like that whatever and he's like like he wants to know more about you but he doesn't want to pry he doesn't want to be nosy he's very sweet I think what this man needs to understand though is that you are psychically aware of him as well even if you haven't met him yet for some you have met him um, I don't feel like it's gone far. Like, I don't, if you're in this energy group, I don't know. Like, maybe you guys have gone on one date, but I don't even really feel that vibe. I feel it's more like, like, you guys make eye contact or you, like, maybe he's on your social media or something like that. Like, it's, it's, it's in the very, very early stages. I actually feel like there's going to be a very strong physical attraction between you and this man. Now, for some, this might be like a... 
like a soul attraction that makes him more physically attractive or makes you more physically attractive. You know what I mean? Like it might be one of those, it's like, I get like eye contact. Like you guys are just going to like stare into each other's souls. Like it, it's like you guys just like know each other. So it's like, there's going to, there's just going to be a very deep attraction that's beyond surface level. Like for some, it's like, you're going to be so like emotionally and mentally turned on by this man that um because this man has like daddy energy this man is like like he's shy and sweet but he's got like that daddy energy deep down but he doesn't know if he has permission to be daddy with you yet you know what I mean like he's like because because you look like a strong independent woman and he doesn't know like because someone some women are some women are like that where they're like oh don't you open the car door for me I can do it myself or don't you don't you offer to help me pay that bill I can do it myself you know what I mean and he doesn't know if you're like that so I feel like in the early stages, it's like, is she okay with me, like, helping her and supporting her? Like, he's gonna, like, test the waters, you know what I mean? <clears throat> but I feel like, I feel like you do want that, actually. I feel like, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, it's like, you're gonna be turned on by that energy. You're gonna be like, oh, damn, like, this is, this is, like, a confident man. This man is, like, offering me emotional support. Like, he's, like, you're gonna be turned on by him, getting out of that shy energy and actually being assertive and making some move towards you and, and moves towards you and, and not, you know, it's, it's like he has you on this pedestal where he's so afraid to mess it up that he doesn't want to say or do the wrong thing. And I almost feel like that's, that could end up being a turnoff for you in the long run if he keeps it up, because it's like, you're going to be like, no, I, I don't want to be someone's unicorn. I don't want to be a fantasy. Like I want someone who's going to match my energy. I want someone who's going to be honest and open and talk to me and put themselves out there for me. And he is like, I'm not getting like an emotionally unavailable energy from this man. I, I just get that he's trying to perfect things and do it right. You know? So he's not planning on like not doing something. He just doesn't, he he's, hasn't figured out his next approach with you. Um, but I think he's going to be pleasantly surprised to find that you're actually really turned on when he comes forward, that you actually are going to see him as different from all these other men that might hit on you. Um, like he just needs to come forward. He just he needs to stop being in his head and he needs to just come forward again. He might need a boost like a road opener or whatever else. Like he might need that little boost to just take that leap of faith and come towards you. Um. He sees you as very beautiful. There's something about your eyes or there's something about you that's very unique that like really, I don't, I don't want to say it intimidates him, but he's like, eh. he's like, damn, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's not like an intimidating energy. I don't feel like this man, this man's not a coward. So he's not going to like back down and be like, oh my God, she's too good for me. Like he's not insecure. You know what I mean? Like he is confident, but he just sees you as, um, Maybe he's not used to having someone like be his equal. You know what I mean? It's like maybe he's been with these women, these like shallow women or these gold diggers. People have just used him for so long. He can never find the right one that it's like now that he's found that like diamond in the rough that he's just like, oh, my God, like I can't I can't let this go. Like this woman is rare. You know what I mean? Like he he knows your worth for sure. It, it, this is a good man. Um. He just might need an opening. And if you know who this man is, like if you're at a coffee shop or whatever, or you're like, you see him come in, like maybe, um, just give him an opening. Like I would, I would say, cause I see someone like with like a, like resting bitch face to be honest. So I'm like, like maybe smile at him and, um, like ask how his date, like, like show interest in him. Cause he doesn't know if you're interested. I feel for some, <coughs> sorry. Um, let's see. Oh, I feel like physically attractiveness too. I, I feel so I, okay. I feel physically attractiveness too. Oh my God. I feel like you guys are going to be physically attracted to each other. And I feel like he sees you as so beautiful and I feel like you're going to find him so attractive as well. And, um, you guys are both worried that you're not like physically attractive enough for each other or something like that. Or one of you is worried about that. And it's not an issue like so this man needs to know that too like if this man is like this man needs to be I, I don't feel like that the men would be on like I don't I don't know maybe maybe like maybe there are men that are in this energy group that are on my channel I'm not sure I feel like it's probably more women that are 
that are in, in this particular energy. Like it's probably more you're waiting for this person. Like you're man, you're you know channeling this person, and you're like, when is this person gonna make? When is he gonna make a move? Like if he knows about me, when is he gonna make that move finally? Like I've been waiting long enough. <laughs> um, but uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I just feel like he doesn't need to worry about it. Like you're gonna, you're gonna feel the same way about him, but you're probably in like work mode. You probably don't even, you might not even know about him. You know what I mean? Like he might be behind the scenes or it's like, he's not really engaging enough. So it's like, you don't like, if you're like a social media influencer, you get so many comments and he needs to just step up and do something that sets, sets him apart from the others. But I do, like I said, I feel like he does need that opening from you somehow. Uh, yeah, you guys are both going to be physically attracted to each other. Like, the feelings are going to be mutual. So if one of you or both of you are worried about that, you don't need to worry about it. Like, the physical attraction is going to be on the same level. The mental, emotional attraction. Like, you guys are very compatible on all levels. Like, this is a really good man. Um, so it's like, this man doesn't need to worry about that. Like you are going to set him aside from the rest. Like you are going to see him, even if you're really popular, you're going to see him as different from these other men, but he needs to just kind of grow a pair and just come out with it. He needs to make that move. He needs to give you his phone number or ask you out again. He might need that little boost. He might need that little, that road opener or that love drawing or you wearing that pheromone spray or something you know what I mean it's like he might need that little that little help from you because he's getting there but he's kind of like ooh, she's so perfect like I don't know like how to do this um it does he think you're with someone else sorry I know I've taken like forever to get to that fucking question because I've, I've channeled all this other random stuff um does he think that you might be with someone else Yeah, he feels like there's someone that you tried to really work on things with that you really wanted to be with. And it could have been like you really tried like with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like loyal and stable. It's like a very slow moving night. Like he feels like you really invested in this and it ended up in like a five of cups, like rejection. So he feels like you're I don't know, whatever it is, like, I don't know if it's like a rumor going around, but for whatever reason, it's like he either feels like you have a boyfriend or he feels like you're in love with someone or you're heartbroken over someone. Um... And again, I, I don't think, I think what he needs to recognize is that even if you are, you're, um, you're moving past it because like we were getting that King of Wands energy before where it was like that King of Wands, um, isn't doing anything towards you. So you're turned off and you're not, you're, you're looking elsewhere. You're like, I thought I could be a power couple with his King of Wands, but he's not doing shit. So I'm, I'm going to keep waiting. I'm going to. I know what I deserve. I'm going to be alone until the right man comes along. So this is like his opportune, like this is like the the potent time for him to come in. Like this is this is the perfect time for him to come is like right now because you're in that energy of like moving past that. Um, and like he should probably honestly come in before that King of Wands does realize what he's losing and, and chases you down, which could potentially happen. So, anything else you want to say about that whole, like, him thinking you're taken or you're heartbroken over someone? Yeah, because you're willing to give this, like, you're, you're channeling him, too. Like, you're ready for him. You know what I mean? Like, he needs to be aware of that. Like, you are... You could even, like, put that in your spell work, like, letting him, like, the intention of, like, letting this man know, like, hey, I'm actually ready for you. I'm open to this. Be careful because it is Mercury retrograde, so you got to be really careful with spell work and with the way you word things right now. So only do it if you feel intuitively, you know, called to do it. Um, you know, if you feel safer waiting till after retrograde, then, then do that. But um Anything else about like him thinking that you're with someone or that you're you're chasing someone or I 
I just feel like he sees you as the prize, so it's almost like he doesn't understand why a man wouldn't chase you. You know what I mean? It could even be, like, you might not even have a boyfriend, but he might just be looking at you like you're this queen of cups, and he's like, I don't, like, she's the entire package. Like, why wouldn't she have a boyfriend, or why wouldn't she be married, you know? Um... Maybe you wear a lot of rings and like maybe he doesn't know if one of those is like a wedding ring, but maybe it's actually just you just like wearing rings, you know, like you um, for some. Because there could be like a misunderstanding that needs to be cleared up or something like that for someone. But yeah, I just feel and he might also see how you reject other men. So maybe he's like, oh, like, I bet she's probably taken, you know, it could be like something that he's just because I feel like he's very intelligent and analytical. He studies psychology, possibly for some. So he might be making false assumptions. He might be like, that looks like I bet that woman's taken. But it's, it's like or, or like, why wouldn't she be taken? You know what I mean? For others, it's, it's like you're posting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Sorry. For others, it could be something that you said or did where it's like maybe he's seeing you interact with someone and he thinks that maybe there's something going on between the two of you or, um, you know, maybe he just thinks that you're hung up on an ex. He doesn't know if it's the right time. Um, whatever it is, it needs to be cleared up. Then the misunderstanding needs to be cleared up. And I almost feel like it's going to have to be on your end that that's cleared up, whether that's through like witchcraft or prayer or meditation. If you guys are telepathically communicating or if you know who he is in person, like maybe, I don't know, like throwing it out that you're single, but like in a very, I don't know how you would like smoothly throw that out there, but um, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think. He needs to know that you're not taken. Like he, he, he just, it, it's, it's going to be different for all of you. Like I think, but you're, I think you guys are going to intuitively know how to go about doing that, whether it's behind the scenes or it's in person or it's a mix of both. But I just get that sense. He needs to know that you're not taken. Um, and again, you might have you might have really been emotional over that King of Wands, but I feel like you're just recognizing that the King of Wands either doesn't love you back or if they do love you, they're not willing to express it. They're not willing to put themselves out there for you. And you want someone who will put themselves out there for you. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope this resonates. Thank you guys for watching.